Welcome to the Quick Start tutorial for Rockfall version 6. In this tutorial, we will introduce many of the basic features and functions of Rockfall. To begin, if you have not already done so, run Rockfall. A new document will open with the program. We will begin by modifying the project settings in the Project Settings dialog. Click on the Project Settings icon in the toolbar and ensure the General tab is selected. Rockfall offers two possible analysis methods, Lump Mass or Rigid Body, with Lump Mass as default. Where Rigid Body allows you to define rock shapes, Lump Mass assumes rocks to be very small point masses with no physical size. Keep the default of Lump Mass for this tutorial. Select the Engine Conditions tab. Note the various control parameters. Once one of these conditions are met, the rock will stop moving. Leave all parameters at their default values and click OK to close the dialog. We will now create the slope for our model. In Rockfall, the slope can either be drawn manually with the cursor by selecting the Draw Slope icon or by inputting vertex coordinates, which we will use in this tutorial. While coordinates can be entered in the prompt line, select Slope Edit Coordinates. In this dialog, coordinates can be manually modified as well as imported or exported. We will create six new vertices. Enter the coordinates of each as follows. Note that the standard deviation for all the vertices is set to zero, as we are not considering any probabilistic variation of the slope surface in this tutorial. Click OK. Press the F2 key to zoom and center the slope in the view. If necessary, coordinates can be modified by right-clicking the slope and selecting Edit Slope Coordinates, or by manually moving and removing vertices using right-click shortcuts. We will now define a cedar, which determines the drop location for rocks in Rockfall. Select the Add Cedar icon. Place the cedar by clicking in its desired location, or by entering the desired coordinates in the prompt line. Enter the coordinates 0 0.50. In the Cedar Properties dialog, select Group 1 from the Rock Type list. Change the number of rocks to 50. You are also able to edit the initial velocity of each rock type, as well as several other rock parameters. Set the mean value for horizontal velocity to 1.5 meters per second. Select the Distribution button next to the Edit box and set the distribution to Normal. Change the standard deviation to 0.15 and the relative minimum and maximum values will be calculated to be 3 times the standard deviation if the 3 times standard deviation checkbox is activated. Values can be changed at any time. Ensure that the vertical and rotational velocities are at their default values of 0, with no distribution, and click OK. Cedars can be edited by right-clicking on the cedar and selecting Cedar Properties. We will now view the rock properties. Select the Rock Type Library icon. In this dialog, different rock types can be created and their masses and densities defined. We will only be using a single rock type for this tutorial, so we will use the default settings. Click OK. Now, to define the slope materials, select the Slope Material Library. The Slope Materials Library dialog allows the distribution type and distribution parameters for each material to be defined, as well as allowing materials to be removed or added. We will define three new materials for this model. Select the Add icon to create a new material type. Set the material name to Type 1 and set the distribution types to Normal for both the Normal and Tangential Restitution, leaving the distribution type as None for all other parameters. Set the parameters as follows for Type 1. Repeat this process for two more materials, entering data as follows. Once completed, click OK. We can now assign the material properties to the slope. Select the Assign Slope Materials icon. Select Type 1. Click on the first and third line segments to assign the material Type 1 properties to those segments. Select Type 2 and click on the second segment. Select Type 3 and select the last two segments. Once completed, close the Assign dialog. Now that the model is complete, select the Results mode from the toolbar to run the analysis. In this mode, the Analysis tools appear in the main toolbar and rock paths are shown on the slope. To animate rock paths, select the Animate Path icon. When using the Lump Mass method, despite having no physical size, the rocks are drawn as a finite circle. The Animate Result dialog allows the speed and progress of the animation to be controlled. Cycle through the rock paths using the arrow icons. 
In this tutorial, the rock path variability is generated by the statistical distributions we define for the initial rock velocities and the slope material properties. Close the animate result dialog. Rockfall also has a large number of analysis tools to visualize the results of the analysis. The horizontal location of rock endpoints is one of the most easily understood results from a rockfall analysis and can be found by selecting the graph endpoints icon. Tile the view and press F2 to zoom the model. As seen in the histogram, most rocks come to a rest at the bottom of the slope, but a few have stopped on the upper bench. More detailed information can be seen by hovering over each bar. Maximize the rockfall model. Envelope graphs of rockfall results can be generated by clicking the graph data on slope icon. Select bounds height as the data to plot and change the value to max, then select plot data. Once again, maximize the rockfall model. Distribution graphs show the distribution of results at selected X locations along the slope and can be created by selecting the graph distribution icon. Set the data to plot to translational velocity, then select plot data. As you click on different X locations in the model, the graph will update with its corresponding results. Results can be exported by selecting the chart in Excel icon. Copy raw data by right-clicking in any plot view and selecting copy data. Toggle back to the model view. View a summary of all rockfall model parameters by selecting the info viewer icon. Right-click in the info viewer to copy information to the clipboard or to save it to an HTML file. This concludes the quick start tutorial. Click here for more details or here for more tutorials.